hello everybody today we are going to discuss the chapter number 31 from dr robert's philosophy and this chapter is disease classification or summary now uh, dr h roberts has described about the three miasms sora psychosis and syphilis from chapter number 22 to chapter number 30 uh, in this book the book is the principles and art of cure by homeopathy so this book we consider as the philosophy of dr h roberts from the subject of organ and of medicine and uh, let me introduce myself i am dr shaurik ghosh i am associate professor in organ and of medicine uh, from uh, jaipur rajasthan and india uh, so let us start about the disease classification now what i was telling that uh, dr roberts has described about these uh, miasms in the previous chapters and at the end of this discussion in chapter number 31 he has discussed about uh, uh, the summary it is a very short and uh, the we can say the shortest chapter of this uh, book and it this chapter contains only one page but it is very important that in this page he has described uh, uh, just uh, the areas of the different miasms and at the same time about the predominancy of a single miasm in the uh, any patient who is having a number of miasm now uh, let us see what he has told now, from the very beginning in this uh, page in this chapter it has been uh, d discussed that if when we summarize about the different stigmata and this stigmata means the miasm so this stigmata and remembering that we may get all the shadings of all the stigmata in their groupings in our patient but one stigma will predominate about all the others so we see that in a patient we can get a number of symptoms which may indicate different types of miasms uh, and even we can get all these miasms in one single patient but there must be one predominant miasm it is very probably to be one predominant miasm with the all the others so this predominant miasm it is very uh, important for us for the selection of the remedy now uh, we see that the uh, accentuation of sora is functional uh, uh, that of the syphilis is ulcerative trend and the psychosis is infiltration and deposits this is given in this uh, chapter next so when we talk about the um, areas in which part of the body the miasms miasm of the sora the syphilis and the psychosis are affecting so we see that when syphilis is suppressed it spreads on the meninges of the brain we get uh, the larynx is disturbed and painful we get a uh, sore throat or painful throat this syphilis it spreads uh, it affects the eyes the bones and the periosteum so these are the areas where syphilis can attack next now the area of sora we see we know that sora is the mother of all the other miasms and it contains seven eighths of all the diseases so we see that the areas of sora is the entire nervous system now it is a matter to understand that uh, the nerves are present throughout the body and wherever sora is affecting the nerves the related organs are also affected so the starting point of the uh, dysfunction which is by the sora it is affecting the nerves there are the functional disturbances and uh, which is ameliorated by surface manifestations so this is the sora another uh, that is the psychosis the area of the psychosis is pelvic and the sexual organs psychosis causes the worst form of inflammation infiltration of the tissues it causes abscesses hypertrophy and cystic degeneration so we see that psychosis uh, generally we get the primary manifestation of psycho psychosis as a cauliflower like growth and uh, here the these organs are affected by psychosis now when psychosis is suppressed severely the mental conditions are affected and the patient uh, may have the following thing that is the dishonesty there is the moral degeneracy and mania may develop within the patient 
so it is very important uh, thing that the mental uh, mm, uh, symptoms of the psychosis or the or the or the psychosis when it's, it is suppressed it may affect the patient in the higher centers and the mind may be affected in such a manner that the all the morality of the patient may have gone so uh, in very short dr robert has discussed about the areas where this syphilis sora and psychosis can affect and at the last he has uh, he has described that consideration of this stigma has inestimable value or to construct the totality of the symptoms in a patient so when uh, we uh, we pick up the totality after taking the case when we see the totality of the symptom we can understand that these areas where the sora psychosis and the syphilis are affected it may help us to find out the remedy which may be we can see that uh, we divide the remedy according to the measles we divide the remedy uh, uh, in different groups where the predominance of the mazam has been uh, there for some remedies for example if we uh, see there is a predominance of syphilis and aura metallicum is a, a very good medicine which has a predominance uh, uh, of syphilis mazam within it so it is very important uh, to prescribe a medicine on the basis of this uh, the differentiation or the areas of this uh, say of, of these miasms and it is also uh, it will also help us to for the formation of the totality of symptom at the end we see that it is written by dr roberts in this chapter when we are considering a case manifesting mixed stigmata there is always one or more prominent and uh, this will be one requiring relief so this stigmata uh, among the many uh, among the three others one must be a prominent and in the very beginning when we, we need to prescribe uh, we have to go for a medicine with the, the medicine which will cover up this predominant symptom or this predominant miasm when this is relieved when this is relieved the next in predominance or the prominence must be cared for until the patient is freed from the inheritance of the generation so when uh, we first of all we use a medicine uh, which will combat the um, predominant miasm of this patient and after the work of this medicine is over we may get another miasm to be prominent in this patient and we will treat accordingly and until uh, and will go with uh, uh, this type of uh, treatment according to the predominance of the miasm until and unless the whole uh, the stigmata has been completely combated by this medicine so uh, this is a very uh, small chapter and the question may come uh, if we discuss about this regarding the question answers uh, that is the uh, it, it may come as a direct question uh, describe the, uh, the or write down the summary of the disease classification as given by dr roberts another thing is that uh, this is very important for our viva examination where uh, the examiner may ask you about the areas of the different miasms where it may act okay so thank you everybody and uh, we'll uh, next discuss many other uh, chapters of the philosophy uh, and we'll meet again. Thank you.